Today, we have Barbie Almalbis of Barbie's Cradle. Check out this interview. Uh, we're here today with Barbie Almalbis. Hello. Hello. Do you have your own process of songwriting? How do you approach songwriting? I'm one of those people who can't really write without an instrument. Like, sometimes I would sit in the car and I think I'd have a great melody. I'm like, oh, this is a great melody. Then I finally go home and sit down. It's a bit I can't imagine it long and then, you know what I mean? But I have to, I, ha I usually have to start with a chord progression. Okay. Ah. Or it can be a piano also, but I have to start with a chord progression. And then when there's something, uh, like a bed that I already like, then I start playing with melodies and also lyrics. How about when it comes to your lyrics? Um, how do you figure out what to write about? Because you write mostly, is it mostly for yourself as an artist or do you write for other people? My, my first experience was really writing about my feelings and parang my experiences. Lang. So usually when I do that, I don't come in with a theme in mind. I just start Singing gibberish, like just words, random words, random sounds. Right. Like we have, a, we have a song called Belinda Bye Bye. Okay, the first line is bake a cake. Yes. It doesn't. No, there's nobody baking a cake. Yeah, you know? yeah. It was just like I don't know. I just thought it sounded nice, like singing that line. Bake a cake. Yeah. Bake a cake to my face, dance away, Belinda. And then, then it turned out into a, it turned into a, an actual song with an actual story. Mm. But the first line has nothing to do with the rest of the song. What's that? The first line. And bake then, a cake. It was a, yeah. And then it just flowed from and there. Flowed from there, they started talking about, oh, so this is what I'm, I want to talk about. And then it just. Oh, galing. Yeah. I, I don't know, like even Torpe, yung wag nilang kaya. I know it sounds like a true fake song. Yeah, eventually, like, yung mga may song para silang gano'n. Yeah. When, when, I, when, I, when I wrote that line, it, I was just also, maybe that song was in my subconscious. I don't know, but I was yeah. just blurting out words. And then it became Torpe. I wasn't like thinking, I'm going to sit down and write a song about a Torpe. I wasn't. I was yes. just like, and then those were just the words that came out and then I just developed it and eventually... I think it works for you because you are an instrumentalist and eh? instrumentalist Maybe, yeah. and then you get your inspiration. It's like you said, like the stream of consciousness approach yeah. because the, the instrument, the sound itself yeah. gives you something and you draw on that. Yeah, and exactly. It's, it's exactly. Layers. Yeah, maybe that's how it works. Yeah, but I don't have something to, to draw from. I'm jamming with, yeah, with my with with yourself. With, with, with the instrument. You're like, yeah. you know, whatever it's giving to you, then it gives yeah. you ideas. So. Because the sound itself makes you think you things. Think of phrases, and, yeah. yeah. But then, you know, like, uh, over the years, uh, I've learned to write for other people or on, on, as a commission when somebody is, like, can you write a song about a product? Yeah. But then, have you had to consciously shut off your Barbie side? Actually, no, no, no. no. You, you bring I, it I, into I hope, it. Yeah. yeah. Parang, before you say I had a home, there was a like, divide between, you know, doing work that's true to your artistic sensibilities and then at the same time, you know, be able to, to serve in a commercial way. I used yes. to look at, I think in my turbine, sell out yet, but, yeah. but, but I feel, but over the years, I realized that you don't have to lose yourself yeah. in, in that process. So you, you, you as an artist, you actually bring that into yeah, you bring, that service. Yeah, so. yeah. For, para, for commercials or something, is I have these parameters. Kasi sabi nila kailangan masaya yung kanta. Mm. Kailangan yung kanta na to meron siyang word na ganito. Kung right. ano connected sa product nila, kung mm. happy, no? Kailangan you have to use the word happy para ganon. Yes. So so those are my parameters. Those are my instructions. So how how yun, would parang Barbie? Oh, yeah, well, yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll use those and then and then try to. To uh, apply my creativity within those within, boundaries, yes, yes. which is so, which I found to be so much fun. Parang, yeah. Parang in the end, parang nakakatulong sa akin yung boundaries niya. Some of my favorite songs, like yung kanta na Just a Smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it was for close up, but I still play it in my gigs because I love it. I, I, yes. I enjoy it because I feel like those parameters. Because you know, in that season in my life, I was writing a lot of like parang melancholic songs, be like by myself, and then just write. Songs for myself, and they're pretty sad or pretty slow. Yeah. But then somebody said, hey, we need like a happy song that, you know, major upbeat. Yeah. And... So, parang you were suddenly forced to. Yeah. So it's like, parang I I wouldn't have written that song that way if some if there was no commission. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I ended up liking it. Na parang so parang it's almost like, it's like a collaboration. Exactly. Na parang ganon. Na parang saya pala pag parang somebody else brought an idea into the table and right. then and the, the finished product was something that I like. I like yeah. a lot. Because clients become sort of the collaborators in a yeah, way because yeah. they, they tell you this and that and you would never have thought of written it, yeah, yeah. written it that way. 
Um, we, we did a few like also it's called summer day, so it's also super happy. Oh, <laughs> it's fun, yeah. So, but, sunny I, and, but I really like it. Like yeah. in the end, it's such a happy song. But I I don't. Feel but like it's I still you. Yeah, I don't think like I lost myself. It's just like yes. yung happy side to na, na Yes, yes. Ano ganon lang? Galeng, galeng. What's your general advice or wedding specific advice to songwriters? But mm -hmm. as songwriters, we never stop learning. And dati kasi ako. Dati artist dito ako, artist tayo, di ba? So, dati tingin ko sa red, sa art ay relative thing mm -hmm. na parang basta kanya-kanya kung gusto mo, gusto mo, right? Para even if nobody likes it. I mean, you know what I mean? Parang, yeah, parang I, I, I used to think it's very relative na, you know what I mean? But, but now I think somehow there's also an objective beauty. May mas, parang, it's standard, uh, but parang nagsabi sa'yo, parang everybody will see that it's beautiful. So, I, also as a songwriter, you can achieve for that na, I mean, you can get that at your craft. Mm -hmm. Na, na you right. can say almost objectively na yes. maganda to, mas maganda to kasi nagawa ko dati or I can make parang, this version A and this version B is more beautiful or more, more coherent or something yeah. than, than version A kung alas you're working on your song. Right. So, yeah. Parang in terms of overall appeal, a song is beautiful naman. Yeah, but in itself. In yeah. itself, but you... But you can get the tools and the experiences to get your songs even better. Yeah. And thanks, Marley. Thank you, Tina. Yes. Bye. 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 <laughs> That's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do, and do leave your comments below. Also, check out my other videos, and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.